Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I received a package in the mail and I'm super excited to show you guys this. Now for a long time I've been looking for a functional case for the Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. It also needed to be aesthetically pleasing to me. So I did a lot of research and I've been looking for a long time. I can get cases for $1.99 on eBay shipped from China, but nothing really stood out to me. Everything really just encloses your Raspberry Pi and just creates excess heat inside. Now there's a lot of them that have a heat sink that comes with them, but that's not really going to do any good if it's inside of a box. So I reached out to a little company called Flurk. And I got myself one of these cases. Now, I have already looked at it. There's tons of pictures online. But this is one of the most beautifully designed Raspberry Pi cases that I've ever seen. And it is super functional. I'm going to open it up right now. And I want to show you this. So you might be saying... ETA Prime, that looks just like the same case, every case I've seen on Amazon and eBay. That's where you're wrong, guys. This case is made very, very well. Now, we do have a plastic top here. But underneath is also aluminum. This is kind of a cover. You could throw a sticker on there and make it look how you want. I'm thinking about getting a couple ETA Prime robot stickers. Throw a nice one on there. But if we look over here, this case is made out of aluminum. We have our micro USB, our HDMI, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On this end, we have our micro SD card slot. We have our ethernet and our USB ports. So what's so special about this case? It looks like it's just gonna enclose my Raspberry Pi and cause it to overheat. Well, let me show you guys. Now it comes with a little thermal adhesive tape and four screws to hold your Raspberry Pi in place. But if you look right there, we have a little nub that extrudes here. Now this case sits on top of your Raspberry Pi CPU and the whole case is used as a heat sink. I'm gonna pop the top plastic piece off, which is very easy to pop off. So this is going to be my heat sink for my Raspberry Pi now. And when I overclock my Raspberry Pi 3 to 1.4 or 1.45 gigahertz, it gets hot. This thing should definitely handle the temperatures. I'm going to give a comparison. Now this is a lot of metal here. This is a lot of aluminum for a heat sink. This is the heat sink that I've been using. In comparison, we have... Now I can't even begin to you know, how many heat sinks this adds up to. Like, I, I don't know, but I know it's a lot. This is gonna be a little game changer for cooling your Raspberry Pi and protecting it. This case is super cool. They're $14.95 on Flurk's website. There's a link in the description. I have a link on screen now, and I'm also gonna leave a link in the comments. Now, I'm not trying to sell you guys on this case, but I gotta say, this is the best case that I've seen. I'm not over-exaggerating. There are tons of cases on the market, and like I said, you can go, you could probably find a 99 cent Chinese case on eBay. But it's not gonna offer the quality that this does, and it definitely will not be a passive heat sink. So this is gonna keep your Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 cool while you're running those retro games or Cody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble it now. Get that heat sink out of the way because I'm definitely not going to be using that now. I'm going to turn it over. And right here, I have a Raspberry Pi 3. And I've pulled my heat sink off. I had some thermal, um, uh, thermal sticky pad here that I took off. And like I said, this was what I was using. And this actually, it worked pretty well, but I could, it still got hot. That's out of the way now. I'm just gonna place it in here just to show you how well it fits. I mean, it it's in there. It lines up perfectly. This is, this is a really good case, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. 
So it does come with four screws and a tiny piece of thermal adhesive. It's a little uh, heat sink pad, probably made by 3M. And it fits just perfectly over the Raspberry Pi's CPU. And I'm going to put it on the CPU first before I put it in the case. Try to peel this off of here. Just be careful with this, guys. This stuff is kind of delicate. So now that I have it on there, just be careful. I messed it up a little bit trying to peel it off with my fingernail, but if you get a little X-Acto knife or something, you may be able to peel it off perfectly. So all you do is place your Raspberry Pi 3 right in here. And I'm going to make sure my lined up correctly. We'll throw the bottom on and this side goes where your SD card would be. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Very simple. Tiny little dollar store screwdriver should work. I'm going to just screw this in. Watch how fast I can do this, guys. Done. That was like two seconds. So, um, that's it, guys. That's how you assemble it. Now, I have the top off here. You can actually add a fan if you'd like to. Um, and depending on how high I can get the overclock, I may do that. But for now, I'm just going to put this on here. The way it's designed is, obviously, you saw that the case itself makes contact with the CPU. Therefore, the heat will be dispersed to the case. And there's tons of aluminum here. I'm going to slide my micro SD card in here. And I'm good to go. Now the thing is, with this, the Raspberry Pi 3, you cannot see the lights on it, but the Raspberry Pi 2 you can. And this is not a spring-loaded card anymore in the Raspberry Pi 3, so you're probably going to have to have some tweezers for this. I'm actually in love with this case. Ever since I saw it online, I wanted to get one super bad, and I'm glad I got one now. I'm going to do extensive testing on this guy, so keep an eye out for the next videos. So I got a sneak peek of another product that Flerk offers. This is the Flerk IR receiver. What this allows you to do is program an IR remote control with your Raspberry Pi. This also works with the Xbox, PS4, your PC, and tons of other devices. You plug this into your PC, you program the controller you wanna use, then you can take it out of the PC, plug it into your Raspberry Pi where you're running Kodi, and control Kodi with a standard IR remote. So I have a ton of them laying around my house that I've never even thought about using because of the IR sensor issue. I did program it to work with this remote, which is an older Samsung remote. It's got tons of buttons on it, so everything can be mapped. I also have this Chinese remote that came with an Android TV that I bought. I got a couple others in the closet that I just haven't even thought about using. So this is really cool. Keep an eye out for this, guys. And just like the Raspberry Pi case from Flirk, a portion of the proceeds go to cancer research. So I've never had anybody in my life deal with cancer. And it's hard for me to sympathize with people. I can only imagine how hard it is on the person with cancer and the family surrounding them. I'm kind of blown away that you know, the guys over at Flerk, or the guy, it's only one guy and his wife at Flerk. I mean, it's crazy. And the support is awesome. I messaged him, and within four hours, he messaged me back. I didn't realize it was one person um, until I started reading their FAQ, and I was blown away. Quality of the products is amazing. And just to know that they're trying to help out cancer research is amazing. Because he dealt with cancer himself. Um the owner of Flerk. And you can go ahead and read about it on his website, but like I said, it's just, it's amazing that people are doing this. 
I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Links are in the description to Flirt. I definitely recommend going ahead. If you don't want the IR receiver for your Raspberry Pi, which this is a great add-on if, you, if you're a major Cody user, I suggest buying that case. That thing is... I mean, just having the passive cooling built into the case is the set. As soon as I saw it, I was like, boom, I got to get one or two of these. So like always, guys, thanks for watching.